and in 2016 I decided to go uh, on a one, one month vacation. Seven years later I'm still here, you know. I also came here for a one month vacation in 2016 and seven years later I'm yeah, also we're still, still here. here. We're still here! <laughs> we're still here! <laughs> I'm gonna start a video, why not? Good morning from Panabo, and I'm here with... This guy's been my friend for a while, I've been meaning to see what he does here for a while. And uh, we've known each other since... A couple of years now? Yeah. yeah. We went hiking with our dogs somewhere. That's, that's oh, yeah. I'm gonna be very, very serious and I'm how not you doing? so serious though, so <laughs> that's no problem. I'm uh, Sean Lichtfoot, I'm from uh, the Netherlands and I work for the Department of Science and Technology uh, for Wastewater Treatment Consultancy. How did you come to the Philippines? Actually, it was a mistake. Uh, I was supposed to uh, go to Indonesia. Then I uh, was supposed to go to Manila. And then uh, there was, uh, during my college days, there was a friend who said, oh, your partner doesn't have enough uh, study points to go to the uh, Manila, but I go to Davao. So uh, I said, okay, sure, go to Davao. And that's uh, how I got here uh, in 2012, I think. So uh, then I did my internship uh, at the Department of Science and Technology. And in 2016, I decided to go uh, on a one, one month vacation. Seven years later, I'm still here, you know? <laughs> oh, I also came here for a one month vacation in 2016. And seven years later, I'm yeah, also we're still, still here. here. We're still here. <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> nice vacation. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's two of us. <laughs> So seven years and 29 uh, projects because uh, I've been uh, working with the DOST uh, for all the time and uh, we put uh, up a low cost nature based wastewater treatment facilities for uh, uh, it's for private businesses, LGUs, but also for government agencies and uh, small communities. We put the uh, public toilets and uh, wastewater treatment systems. So this one here, this is for the Rivero Hospital in uh, Panabo City. And this is our 200 square meter vertical flow constructed wetland that uh, treats about 14,000 liters of hospital wastewater each day. This has been running since 2018, I believe, put it to be in our standards. So this filter system actually uh, works pretty well. So yeah, I can tour you around. <laughs> Tour guide. The tour guide. So both of the buildings only rely on a septic tank and the septic tank is just not capable of uh, complying with the standards uh, that are set by the DENR, which are very strict actually for uh, the Philippines. Yeah, it is a, remain, uh, a developing country and then uh, they, but they use like uh, European standards for their wastewater uh, treatment. They have to have an enhanced wastewater treatment uh, to comply. So the septic tanks actually are both connected uh, to this tank, to a very long, very uh, hard to install sewage system. <laughs> <laughs> but finally it will get uh, to these chambers. So uh, these are four chambers. If you want to see the, the nastiness. <laughs> ah, oh, so you can oh see, look at that, yeah, lovely. That is, uh, that is moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's the hard part about the work, but the nice part is it comes out clean. Actually, the whole system is operated by this uh, tiny little box. Two pumps with an incorporated uh, floater. So if there's not enough water, it will not work. And then uh, every hour, it will discharge uh, a certain amount of wa wastewater upon this uh, 200 square meter uh, filter system. Now uh, you've noticed this filter system has plants. This is what plants we call, uh, it's actually reeds. It's in between uh, kawaii and, and grass. Known here for the, as the term bugang. So this water can, or these plants can really withstand a very harsh conditions, very acidic water, very polluted water. And what they do, they uh, absorb a lot of the water. Also with that, they absorb a lot of nutrition, like uh, the phosphate, uh, the ammonical nitrogen, and they right away aerate the, the, the soil. Plus this whole filter has actually different layers of soil. So there's uh, all these local products in there. Everything here can be locally sourced. So it is um, you know, cocoa fiber, there is limestone in there, iron shavings, there's uh, sand and gravel. 
uh, and a few other components which I keep secret. <laughs> 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 These filter media all have different ways of treating the wastewater. And uh, because of the plants, they grow, they die, they grow, they die. They keep the soil uh, permeable. So in many ways, these plants are very important for treating the wastewater. Uh, in uh, 2012, I introduced this to the DUSD during my uh, uh, internship, where we made a small prototype for the DUSD uh, regional office. When I came back in 2016, they said, oh, can you design one more? I said, sure, sure, sure. I will stay a little longer. So that's when my one month already <laughs> extended to three months. Well, then, my one month also extended yeah, to three months. <laughs> yeah, and then they said, oh, but hey, can you build that also? Sure, why not? So it became already six months, yeah. And then Duterte became the president of the Philippines. So all the people went to Davao to see the newest uh, technologies available in Davao. Yeah, and then, uh, okay, can you build five more? And another six more and another uh, eight more. And then uh, it was uh, my mom that called me and said, hey, uh, Sean, when are you coming back to the Netherlands? Yeah, I, I just got here. And they said, no, no, you're already there for two years. And that is five years ago, so sorry, mom. <laughs> Still, I'm, I'm busy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Still busy. So they see a foreigner, they think, ah, oh, mahal kayo, oi. <laughs> but in fact, uh, these systems cost uh, sometimes 10 times less than other systems. And it doesn't necessarily require any, any uh, maintenance or consumables or something like that. So uh, that's why people are very happy uh, with the, the, the filter system. Is this plant from the yeah, Netherlands? Oh, crystal clear. So that's your output water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you compare that to uh, what's coming in, a massive difference, of course. So the people around it, they're very happy. It's much, much clearer than the water that is already inside of the canal. So. <laughs> We're going to leave the city center and travel to a remote poultry farm. You can see the system much more clearly when it's still new. I think tomorrow they're gonna harvest the chicken. So the whole pre-treatment is empty. It's just been cleaned and the harvest's tomorrow. So we're gonna have a little look though. Normally the filter system will have a water level as high as a top pipe. But then, uh, you know, for the video, we want to show you the clean water, of course. <laughs> this is uh, what we call the pre-treatment system. So this is a 200 cubic meter uh, pre-treatment. But there's three buildings here, chicken farm. Ooh, this is where the, the pump is at. It doesn't have so much sludge like the first, so... Rot too big. I, I was gonna say as soon as as soon as you see this, I'm just gonna look at my audience retention. It's just gonna go boom. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> too big. Sorry. Rotten viewers. But then again, it goes to this filter system, so you can see also the height uh, of the. Uh, this is pretty much the same height as the the, the filter bed is. Then from that point, uh, where the clear water comes out, but clear doesn't necessarily uh, mean clean. It gets filtered again. It gets filtered again, yeah. This filter system is also just uh, a couple of months old. So the plants are still uh, very young, but they will be as big as uh, you see the other project. This is specifically for uh, enhanced ammonia and phosphate removal. So, so this is uh, really uh, layered specifically with uh, different layers of soil. So every uh, 10 to 20 centimeters, there's a different type of uh, filter media. However, this one is only gravel and it relies solely on the, the capacity of the plants to treat uh, the wastewater. This one also really relies on the different layers of soil. So we call this a vertical halophyte filter system. But uh, in uh, engineering terms, it's uh, more called a vertical subsurface flow constructed wetland. And oh. this is a horizontal flow constructed wetland. So okay. if, you buy, if you build it very big, like uh, for uh, a triple A slaughterhouse, this would be costing about 3,000 per square meter, while this is only like 1,000 per square meter. So it's very uh, less expensive to uh, uh, have this one if you uh, want to remove just certain parameters. It sounds very simple, but it's very, very complicated. And it will last 25 years without consumables. This is not a bougang. So in the first couple of uh, months, uh, we need to remove uh, the plants that aren't welcome. 
and uh, that is actually the first only maintenance you do and then after that for years you're fine mm. there's one there's one fish there yeah one fish left the last Hello, time mate. we got here uh, swarming with uh yeah. frog fishes that's the only uh, concern we sometimes have. The other thing I noticed is we're in the middle of a wastewater plant and it doesn't smell. Not at all. Mmm. Ah. Humut? Humut! Or maybe I just smell bad. Maybe yeah. that's why. I, I'm just, my nose is adjust is to... Oh, hello, more pipes. And we've got just one more location to see. I hope you can also do my car. <laughs> you should ask if you would. The final project today is located behind this slaughterhouse. It's forbidden to make unnecessary noises. Oh, that's impossible for me. <laughs> oh, I do. Yes, I get all sunglasses. Coco Martin. Yet. Bisita ang yung project tung 2020. Ipay kay mi kani balik si Sirsian. So sagdaghan kayo ang bisita katan ako kasundog ni at mung ang yung project. Wala mo kini pasigar po tiri sa Santo Tomas Slaughter House kay ikahatag kini tabang sa ato ang environment o sa ato ang uh, katubigan sa nga malimpyo pag pag uh, gawas dito sa so crystal clear you know this is really uh, sparkling uh, already and then uh, I don't know how this is so effective because actually the system was designed for seven and a half cubic they discharge almost 20 cubic meter on it still crystal clear and uh, all the liners are made from one sheet and the, the water level is much low, uh, lower so it's really just uh, the, the filter system uh, that is uh, so uh, extremely effective in this place it's also the, the only filter system where we use the, the tifa uh, that's a bull, uh, bull rust this one has steps very social it's a little screen for the for the uh, for the guts so those hungry dogs then uh, they have also some food <laughs> Why they look so healthy, huh? Dual purpose. Then they have uh, three out or four outside divisions to keep the sludge and the oil, fats, and greases there. One chamber. Oh, lovely. That's very mm, nice to delicious. see. Delicious. Delicious. And then this is the, actually the main uh, treatment, the vertical halified filter system. So, so like the So, like how the name move Kaya and Oh, lalum lam besaya. Oi, na I hag danan. So shala, eh? Oh, drink it, drink it. I have it. You can smell it yourself. There's no smell at all. <laughs> I have a partner in the Netherlands, and uh, he would uh, always take a sip. But oh. I, I don't. You know. <laughs> Why? Uh, and then there's a fish pond here as well. Oh. It's, uh, working as a hito, right? Yes. So na. Look at this, this is actual right hand man. You're at his right hand, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kenneth Morata. I'm also working in the Department of Science and Technology and we also do different projects and different industries for this wastewater treatment facilities like uh, meat processing, poultry farms, slaughterhouses, communities and we even have upcoming projects for the government offices. So yeah, that's it. What's your other name? Oh yeah, you're Captain Daot. Oh no, Commander Daot. I'm Captain Maut. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we love it. I have to ask you this. We're not from here. We're not from here. You work in the government. I work in the government. In the Philippines government. In the Filipino government, yeah. yeah. As a... How on earth did that happen? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people ask me that question. Uh, why did we come here? It's the secret weapon of the Philippines. It's the Filipina, you know. <laughs> I also myself uh, fell in love with uh, my beautiful wife, and uh, that's why I came back and forth, back and forth from um, during my study, even my uh, internship, my minor, and my thesis for all in the Philippines. Then, uh, yeah, then at one time, like I said before, I was here for a one month vacation, and that one month. Uh, became seven years so f and counting so yeah I know the feeling uh, so initially uh, we I work uh, on a special working permit uh, for the DUST but then I got married I got my uh, 13a permanent uh, residence uh, residency 
so that allowed me to uh, work anywhere in the Philippines and then uh, also for the Filipino government so I challenge you if you find another foreigner uh, that works for the Filipino government I'm not so sure <laughs> <laughs> what you do is specialist right there's no yeah. one else who does it right South America and Africa there are a lot of these wetlands are done but uh, ours a uh, little bit more enhanced and uh, it's patented uh, uh, by me and the DUST Region 11 so it's really uh, our special technology uh, yeah so there's no other people that uh, do this on this level ah, that's why this guy is working for the government helping the Philippines with his knowledge doing this building this stuff I like that I like that a lot I respect that all I do is make videos about others also very important though, you know, you <laughs> highlight uh, things that are important, so uh, I enjoy your video so much. Can you just stroke my ego a bit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come stroke my ego, my bro. ego. You're oh, you're taking, you're, you're taking it you're from me. You're taking it from me. My ego's going. <laughs> <laughs> Coco Martin's loving it. <laughs> Later, I've got some special guests, so I'm looking for some of Davao's best seafood. And today, there's a special delivery. These are huge, huge, huge things. Of course, they come frozen because they've come from Alaska. But I've never seen one of these before, so I'd say hello, but you're dead, so <laughs> pointless. Can I get me my green seafood? Yes. Six kilos. Oh, oh six. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> model that. <laughs> I can't put, put my model. Okay. Imo, Imohana. Oh, sir. Wonder dog. Number one. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy. Magpa ko, magpa process ka, magpa filet ka. Filet tapos sashimi. Why? Wasabi o piko man lang, okay na. You might remember this floating venue near the coastal road from that vlog. They have a stall at Massings. Their chefs cook up these delicious recipes, plating their seafood beautifully. Because guess who's coming along tonight? Lupa! <laughs> what are you doing here in Davao? I don't know. Went to my house. <laughs> Went to see my daughter. <laughs> Lupa! Influencer! Lupa! 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 Is it true that back in March you said no more loops? Oh. And now you're Lupa. Lupa! Lupa! Grave. And this just seemed like the best way to welcome them to Davao. Filipino shocked by seafood. Filipino shark by a Filipino seafood by a Filipino lobster. <laughs> Welcome to Davao! Boy, cap, boy! Come on, no longer. Influenza! Suzuki! Ovasta! <laughs> Juicy and truly delicious, cooked to perfection. <laughs> yeah. Healthy. Alaska King Crab from Alaska. Alaska again. to prepare the lobster for Team Capoy. Yan! Let's just say, we were all satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> 